Welcome to Science Online. Happy Wednesday. My name is Chris. Sorry we're a little late, but as always, sometimes my computer just doesn't want to do the switcheroo so that it can switch between cameras. So, uh, because it is August and because I realized one very scary but at the same time exciting truth is that y'all are going to go back to school soon or some of you may actually be in school. Which means that it's almost fall which means that it's almost spooky season. And I don't know if any of you realize this, but I love Halloween. I love Halloween better than Christmas and warm chocolate chip cookies. Like that's how much I love Halloween. And when I do Halloween, I make everything and it's the only holiday where I get to decorate. So probably for the next month, we're gonna be talking about things that I use, that I prototype, that I test, that I use the engineering theory and I crowdsource to make for my Halloween decorations that are all super easy, very inexpensive, and for the most part can be found at the dollar and a quarter store. And what we're going to make today are, I can't really see his face, kind of see his face. Well, let's see if I can add more light. Bloop. No, that does not work. Shut off the light. Uh, we're going to make tiny spooky um, little trees that you can put a tea light in. So what you're going to need is you're going to need uh, either paper, cardboard, this is the little craft foam that you can get at the dollar and quarter store. Uh, it does work best if you have some sort of X-Acto knife. Littles, you know the rules. If it isn't scissors and they aren't safety scissors, please get your adult or an older sibling over the age of 12, please, to carefully use an X-Acto or the scissors. I'm watching you. Uh, cardstock works good. <laughs> Uh, and you're going to want some sort of tape or glue and you're going to want a tea light. So it could be one of these like fancy Christmas ones or it can just be like the normal ones that you may put in a pumpkin that I usually have everywhere but now can't find because that seems normal. Alright, so what you're going to do, let me see if I can, nope, nope, can't because Facebook is weird. So what I'm going to do is you are going to need... And again, this is the same for paper or cardboard It's or foam. It's just what you're cutting it on, okay? So what you're going to do is we're going to fold our paper hot dog style, right? And this is going to be the, the diameter of our tree. Now, I don't know. I have a little tea light, and I don't know if it'll like light up all the way through there. So I'm going to cut this probably right about here, okay? Uh, as always, if you have a ruler, straight lines are always better. Or you can just go crazy and just cut it the way you want. I mean, really, it's your tea. So, like, you know, you do you. Now, what we're doing, this is called prototyping. So, obviously, I've made a couple. I thought I'd be fancy with this one and, like, make a little grass and, like, I didn't like it. It was not a good prototype. So, we're going to iterate. Iterate is just fixing or doing things differently than the first time you did it in order to improve. So like, I didn't like a couple of things in that one. I didn't like the structure. I didn't like that it was too tall. I didn't like the grass. So then I made this one. I liked a little bit better that it was made of foam. I like that I can stitch it together with other pieces of foam. And I also made it so that the light sticks right inside. Now, obviously I haven't put any you know, arms or anything on it. Uh, I also like the foam better because, and you can't see, can you see on the camera? No, not really. Uh, I could texture it so it looks like bark. So I kind of like the foam better. But it's still not the best. So let's try cardboard. So I have my piece of cardboard. And again, we're going to roll it hot dog style. Let's see. That's a good size tree. And now, because again, I'm prototyping, so I'm actually real time making things. I'm just guessing on it. I'm actually going to make branches in the top of it. Will it work? I don't know. Will it work, silly? Eh, it could. Is it alright because it's just a piece of paper? Yes. If I don't like it, can I make another one? 
also yes. This is just prototyping and it's just quick and loose. And now I have, I think this is gonna look more like those little tassel y things. Uh oh, I, I may not, we may just give up on this one. Nah, we won't give up. We'll try it anyway. All right, so I have my cylinder. Now I know that I want my face somewhere in through here. So just like a jack o' lantern, uh, you can just take a marker or a pencil, and just make your spookiest face. Now remember, this is a very angry tree. It's old and wizen. It wants to eat your neighborhood cats. Maybe, maybe it wants to eat your neighborhood cats. So see, I just kind of made a scary face. Now this is where the exacto comes in really handy. Again, littles, you know the drill. Do not, do not do it with an exacto. You can do this easily with a set of scissors. Cutting out his mouth. I wish you guys could see. But Facebook is being weird with my multiple cameras. Someday I'll get a setup that works that day that day is not today and that's okay not everything has to work the way i want it to Boop. and then you just kind of poke them out Boop. my eyes okay poke out the mouth Ooh, maybe not poke out the mouth there we go there you go scary scary face Ooh. now this is where you're going to need some tape now you can use glue, you can, you know, you can tape this however you want. You can tape it, you can glue it. Uh, the big thing that you want to remember is that it does have to kind of match up the seams. So I always like to do it bottom first. So I line that one up and I kind of see if I can get it to stick to the tape. And then I just slowly walk up, little by little. It's kind of nice that I made these little divots. Because I can get my finger in. Ha ha! There you go. Now I have a cylinder. So this is my tree body, right? I have my tree body. I have my tree face. I know it's hard to see. Arr. And then I thought these would be cool branches. And I can just bend them. Twist them. Make them look like branches. And again, this is part of prototyping. I may really like this. I may think, oh no, this looks awful. Why did I do it this way? It's it's all the fun in making and designing. Now, people who prototype uh, are people who work at NASA, people who work for cereal companies. Yes, you can prototype a cereal. Uh, it's basically how we get new things. So new cell phones, new computers, new video games, somebody has an idea, and then they prototype it. They make a mock-up of what they see in their head. It's actually not that bad. Boop, look at him, a little scary, little scary tree. And then you can take pieces of paper. Oh no, where'd all my arms go? I've lost my arms. Front row, my paper arms. These are still here. Uh, I'm going to take a smaller, thinner piece, just cut it down, I didn't even measure it, and I don't know if this will work so well with cardstock, oh there's my arms, but with paper you can just kind of make a thin strip, and if you twist it, you can kind of get this cool like wizened branch look, and again, this is just using materials you have around the house. Now, if I was at NASA, would I still be making things out of cardboard, poster board, and masking tape? Yes, they still prototype a lot of those things. Do they also use uh, highly detailed and skilled uh, 3D modeling software? Also, yes. But sometimes it's just more fun to make with your hands. So, this is kind of creepy branch. I like that creepy branch. So I'm going to cut it. Cut, cut it. And again, it's just paper. So it cuts. And then we'll put it... That's, that looks good. Do it there. And, and there's no rhyme, there's no reason, and it's tape and paper. So if I don't like it, I just take it off. 
it's okay to redo things over and over again. That's how we get interesting shapes and new materials. That looks kind of silly. But yeah, how cool is that? I'm in a scary, creepy tree. And again, you can see, like, this prototype has a different top than this prototype. I think I like this top better than I like this top. But I like the way this one's put together rather than these because these were kind of a pain. But I also learned that I want it to actively fit. Whereas like this one, it's pretty loose, it's too big for my tea light. This one I did actually fit the tea light, like it doesn't wobble, it sits right in there. So I think I like this one as a proof of concept. I like that I just did this online and I showed you this is my third iteration. So my first is on the floor. I threw that one, you saw it. This is my second, but I did it out of foam. And this is my third. So what I've learned is that the next one I'm going to make is going to be out of foam. I am going to, I really like this face though. I'm going to copy that face. I'm not going to do this to the top. I'm going to do this to the top, this one. I like this top better. I'm not going to do this. And then I'm also not going to do this kind of connection where I do like the strips. I'm definitely going to do this like butt joint connection because it just makes it easier. So there you go, prototyping. Just remember that if you use all this paper, recycle it. Don't just throw it away. Recycling is, is good. Or reuse it if you can. And uh, yeah, that's how you prototype stuff. You just play with it. For arms, maybe add in a black pipe cleaner so you have what's called armature. So you can like bend them into spooky designs. Uh, see if you can maybe do a slit and stick the branch in the stick. Maybe you want to do scary roots. Maybe you want to do a bird in the tree. I don't know. But eventually, you'll find something that you like. You can put the tea light in it. Turn on tea light. No? Oh, no, my tea light doesn't work. There we go. Turn on a tea light. You can be in a basement where, whoops, if you turn off all the lights. Dun, 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 dun. Bloop. You can, oh, put this light on too. Dun, 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 dun. Bloop. You can get, oh, you can't see. Oh, honest guys. Oh, you can kind of see it. It's a little bit glowy. My screen is too bright. But uh, you can get a glowing, spooky, candlelit tree. Prototyping. There's no harm. There's no right. There's no wrong. There's just making stuff until you think it looks good. So, go make some spooky trees. Make sure you post them or tell me where they are so I can see them. Ask questions. Iterate. Always try more things. And uh, think critically. Do science. Have a great day. Bye-bye.